Okay, so to solve this math problem without using a calculator really doesn't require much more than the math you learned way back in elementary and or primary school. Okay, so we have the square root of 0 .0009, and uh, we do have a multiple choice question here, and one of these is the right answer. So A is 3, B is the square root of 0.3, C is 0.9, and D is 0.03. All right, so go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like, and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so we're taking the square root of a decimal. Now, uh, what if the problem was the following? Okay, what if uh, we had the square root of 16? Well, the square root of 16 is four, right? So just in case uh, some of you forgot what the square root is. So the square root of a number is a number such that when you take that number and you multiply it by itself, we get back to the number underneath the square root. All right, so what is the correct answer here? Well, the correct answer is D, 0 0.03. Now, if you did not use a calculator and you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, Amos, do you two math? Man, uh, I don't really remember this math because the last time I was doing this was way back in 1977. Well, I totally get that because that's when it, I was pretty much taking <laughs> basic arithmetic way back in the mid-70s. So a lot of us, you know, including myself, you know, if we don't practice these skills, we're totally going to uh, forget our basic, you know, arithmetic, right? So uh, let's go ahead and put our calculators away and review a thing or two about square roots and particularly uh, decimals because I think that's what makes this problem interesting. But the first thing that we want to notice is that we have a multiple choice question. And as long as you understand, uh, you know, the, uh, what the square root of a basic number is, like the square root of 16, well, the square root of 16 is 4. So as long as you understand that, you probably can kind of reason through here and say, well, I have a decimal, but what if I had the square root of 9, right? So let's just forget these decimals here for a second. So the square root of 9 is 3, right? So if you understand that, well, you can see that our choice here, A, is not right, okay, because 3 is the answer to the question, the square root of 9. So if you're like, Amos, do you to math, man, I really don't know what to do here. Well, you should try to guess, right? So let's go ahead and just kind of eliminate some uh, answers that don't make sense. But uh, here we have the square root of 0 0.0009. So it's probably a pretty good chance that our answer is going to involve a 3 because the square root of 9 is 3. But, uh, you know, because we have a decimal, maybe our answer has a decimal in it as uh, well, right? So, the, you know, D, is, in terms of a guess, you know, is a pretty good guess, right? So even if you're like, I'm not sure, Mr. to math man, I picked point zero three, but I'm not sure why that's right. Well, that is good logic, right? So here, uh, B, this is the square root of point three. So we have a 3 involved. But uh, you can see our choice C has a 9.9. .9. That's not going to make sense because, it's, again, the square root of 9 is 3. We would expect to have a 3 in our answer. Okay, so how can we solve this problem using basic math? Well, let's go ahead and uh, review, again, the square root of a number. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about the square root of 16 again. So the square root of 16 is equal to 4. Now, the square root of 16 is equal to 4 because uh, this number, 4, times itself gets us back to 16. Now, let's suppose some of you are like, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, I get the square root of 0 0.0009. I think the answer is 0 0.03. Well, if the answer is 0 0.03, well, if we take 0 .03, uh, 0 0.03 and multiply it by itself, well, we should get back to 0 0.009. So what we're talking about here is, do you know how to multiply decimals? Now, most of us, again, forgot how to do this, so let's go ahead and do a quick review. Okay, so here is the problem. We have 0 0.03 times 0 0.03. 
Now, this is the correct answer, okay? But uh, how do we multiply decimals? Uh, most of us are like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you're asking me something I haven't thought about in 40 years. Well, again, I totally get that. But uh, here is a quick review on uh, how to multiply decimals. Now, when you actually learn this in elementary and or primary school, you go through, you know, a lot of this, you know, a lot of different examples, but a quick review is the following. So here's 0 0.03, we're gonna multiply by 0 0.03. So you kind of forget the decimals, you know, uh, that are involved. Just forget the decimal points and uh, everything else. And we're just gonna multiply the numbers. So here, this is three times three, and the answer is nine. So a lot of you out there may have learned this in a different way, but I'm just gonna quickly kind of explain it in my own little, um, you know, the way I was taught more or less. So we have 0 0.03 times 0 0.03. So we need to move the decimal point over two places to the right or count how many decimal points we have or how many decimal uh, places. So that's one, two, two places. And here we have two places here. Now this is a real informal explanation. If you want to really learn you know, how to work with decimal operations. I'll give you some uh, suggestions in just one second. But here, uh, we have to move the decimal point or count how many places we have 0 0.03. Uh, we have to move this decimal point back over to this location. So that would require two moves, or one, two. You know, and over here, we have one, two. So the total is two and two, or four uh, moves, okay, or four uh, places. So we're gonna take our answer nine, and nine is the same thing as 9.0, and we're gonna move that decimal point four places to the left. So nine or 9.0, we're gonna go one, okay, two, three, four, and that's where our decimal uh, point is located, and uh, we have uh, these zeros here as fillers, so we have 0 .0009. Okay, so this is the correct answer, and uh, this is a real informal, in a way about to kind of explain, you know, how to multiply decimals or add decimals and divide decimals. Of course, I didn't get to get into those operations, but hopefully this was just a kind of quick review. And a lot of you are like, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I totally uh, forgot how to do that. No big deal. All right, but uh, we can see here that if we did remember our basic math, and when you learn, um, well, I would say for the most uh, part, people in, uh, elementary school, young students in, you know, fifth grade, you know, fourth, fifth grade, you're already doing basic uh, math operations with decimals, okay? This is something that you should know before you go into middle school. So we have 0 0.03 times 0 0.03. Again, we're talking about basic math here is equal to 0 0.009. Okay, so we kind of confirmed our answer because we suspected, okay, we're just kind of going back to our multiple choice question here, that this answer you know, kind of makes sense, right? And in terms of square roots, you know, when you first start learning about square roots, uh, that could be maybe in the fifth and or sixth grade. But if you're like, yes, I think this is the correct answer. Well, if 0 0.03, again, is the correct answer, if we take 0 0.03 and square it, or 0 0.03 times 0 0.03, we need to get back to this 0 0.0009. Okay, so that is one approach to this problem. Now I'm gonna show you another approach. And the second approach approach is something that you will not learn in uh, kind of elementary school. So the uh, next thing that we're gonna be doing here is thinking about this decimal, 0 0.0009 as a fraction. Now, what I'm gonna show you here is kind of a, uh, there's two parts to this. So one part is something that you should have learned way back in your kind of basic math education, and that is how to express a decimal as a fraction. So 0 0.0009 is equivalent to what fraction? Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about that right now. So 0 0.0009 is equal to nine ten thousandths, okay? So we kind of have to read this decimal this way. So here is our point. So this first zero is in the tenths place, this second zero is in the hundreds place, this uh, third zero is in the thousands place, and this nine, this digit right here that we're looking at, is in the ten thousands place. So what we're talking about here is something called place value. So the way you could uh, express this decimal is 0 .0009 or nine ten thousandths, okay? So you can, can actually kind of say that, nine ten thousandths, but you can actually write the fraction nine over ten thousand or nine ten thousandths. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and think of our uh, square root here, uh, the square root of 0 0.0009, 
as equal to the square root of 9 ten thousandths or 9 over 10,000. Okay, now this is going to really make our life a lot easier, but now I'm going to show you something, and it's a property about square roots that uh, maybe you, uh, for most students don't uh, really learn until they get into middle school and or high school. Okay, so this is the square root. Uh, the square root of 0 0.0009 is equivalent to the square root of 9 ten thousandths. Okay, now what we can do here, there is a property of square roots, and that square root or that square root property is the following. Okay, the square root of an entire fraction is equal to the individual square root of the numerator, which is the top number, over the individual square root of the denominator, which is the bottom number. So the square root of 9 over 10,000 is equal to the square root of 9 over the square root of 10,000. And now here, we can find out what the answer is pretty easily uh, to these two questions. And then we can go ahead and answer the uh, question. And you're going to see here that this is, of course, equivalent to 0 0.03. All right, so let's go to take a look at uh, this. And that is uh, a request okay, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I wouldn't stop this lovely math video if I didn't urgently need your support. I don't know about how urgent uh, you know, my request is because I've been on YouTube for like 14 years. Well, at least that's when I started my channel. But I really didn't do much uh, with my channel for many years. I did an occasional video here and there. But it really wasn't like maybe five, six, seven years ago that I started putting a lot of effort into it. And then over the last uh, few years here, I really have increased the amount of content on my channel and the results kind of, you know, speak for themselves. But uh, I kind of share this with you because this is the same thing in learning math, right? If you do a little bit here, a little bit there, and you're trying to learn math and you're kind of all over the place, well, you're really not going to, uh, you know, get that far. I'm just kind of telling you the truth here. But if you really kind of buckle down and you immerse yourself and you really put a lot of effort into it, you're going to see results, right? So no one out there is bad in math. Uh, you know, for those of you that really need to learn math or are having a tough time, what you need to do is kind of redouble your efforts and get immersed in the subject. But uh, beyond that, what you need is uh, crystal clear, comprehensive math instruction. And uh, if you want to learn math from me, check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And what we're talking about here is like decimals, place values. I got actually two uh, excellent recommendations for you. The first is my math foundations course. This is a quick review of all that arithmetic that we forgot. So we're talking about decimals, how to add, subtract, multiply, divide decimals, percent, fractions, all kinds of good stuff like that. But if you want to take uh, that course a step further, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course here. I cover all that basic math and algebra, geometry, and some of this stuff as well. But uh, hopefully uh, you won't mind supporting this channel. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well. And uh, thanks for giving me a little bit of time to explain uh, the reasons why I do what I do. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and get back to this problem. So now that we know uh, we have the square root of 9 over the square root of 10,000, this is uh, equivalent to the square root of 9 over 10,000. Okay, so what is the square root of 9? Well, we already talked about that. That is 3. And what is the square root of 10,000? Well, you kind of have to mess around with this, right? Yeah, well, is it, uh, you know, uh, 100 times 100? Well, of course it is, right? 100 times 100 is uh, 10,000, right? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros here. 1, 2, 3, 4. And you can be like, all right, well, uh, 100 is the same thing as 10 times 10. So that's 100. So 100 times 10 times 10. If I take that 10 and multiply by, by 100, that's 1,000, right? So 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. But hopefully all of you out there, uh, you know, kind of reason through and understand that the square root of 10,000 is 100. Okay, so here we're left with the fraction 3 over 100. Okay, now that wasn't an answer choice in our multiple choice question, but we should be able to express 3 over 100, this fraction, as a decimal, okay, as the decimal three hundredths. Again, we're talking about place value. This is the tenths place, and this is the hundredths place. So this is the decimal three hundredths, or three over one hundred. All right, so once again, you can really do a lot with basic math, and I think, uh, you know, this should give, you know, most of us out there an appreciation of how much we learned way back in those first beginning years of our education, right? 
So I think, uh, you know, uh, unless you use this stuff, you really can't appreciate it. And again, you know, from a practical standpoint, you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you know, I have my calculator. You know, why do I need to learn this stuff? Well, you know, you're going to have to kind of answer that question for yourself. But I can tell you right now, you know, if you want to understand algebra or more complicated math, you've got to really master the fundamental uh, fundamentals and arithmetic, right? So it is a good idea to kind of brush off uh, those basic uh, brush up on those ba basic math skills like working with decimals and fractions, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.